Hi, it's Katie Waysall, week six, and I am like, whoa. I can't believe it. It's it's like the most surreal experience I've ever been through in my whole entire life. It's wonderful and yet so crazy at the same time. My dad's always said one smile makes two, and whatever the weather, just smile, you know, because I'm so fortunate to be here. And now I'm down to the last nine in X Factor Finals 2010 and I never even imagined I would make it this far. And so I'm just really, don't really know what to do with myself to be quite honest. So I just, I'm just, you know, I'm gutted that Tracy went because Tracy wasn't just a good friend to me, she was um, and is an amazing singer. And obviously for Cheryl to be in that position is awful. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to do it for all of us. And, and you know, I'm going to be strong and Tracy's going to be strong. And, and, uh, and I'm really just going to keep my head held high and keep smiling and really enjoy my time here. Because it makes you appreciate, like, obviously I've been in the bottom two three times now. And, and it is scary because I don't want to leave yet. I really, really don't, and there's so much more that I, I kind of want to bring and, and show people. So I'm focused, and and I'm just so grateful to have that opportunity. In case you're wondering, um, I am playing around with the different barnets. Um, yeah, I had an accident with bleach before I came into this show where I broke all of my hair off. So I'm trying to, trying to fix it. And if it's broke, put a wig on it. <laughs> Hi Dinah B, sorry I haven't been able to answer this earlier. Um, how many tattoos have I got? I, th I've got seven tattoos. Hang on, I'm just gonna count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven! And I'd like to get another one. Um, yeah, they all mean something to me um, and all kind of represent different different moments in my life where I felt like I wanted to save them. Um, so yeah, my tattoos. Hi Ashura. Um, oh, my favourite book. When I was growing up I used to read a lot of Ina Blyton and my favourite book was The Magic Faraway Tree. I used to read that all the time and I used to love when... Um, like the different characters in it, like Moonface, and I just love the idea of just getting lost in a book, you know, of like this, it just contains so much magic. I love you, I still love Enid Blyton. And then recently, I'm, I'm a massive fan of Jane Green. Uh, she's a wonderful, wonderful author. I've read every single one of her books, and I still wait with bated breath for her next book to come out. Hi Mia, I absolutely love your question. Um, can I say your name at the end of a performance? There are so many names I would love to say. <laughs> I'd love to give big shout outs to everybody, but now's my time, so hi Mia. Um, I will send you tweets and whatnot, but that is so cool, thank you. And oh, big shout out to Team Waisel, woo woo, and to Hagar, and to Rabina Head, and Kalud, and oh god there's so many people I want to say hi to, just everybody that has just been so wonderful and that I bump into and gives me cuddles and whatnot. I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's supporting me and I do read your tweets and your direct messages and everything and every time I see you guys I just want to give you a big cuddle and I love your cuddles, they're amazing and, and also you know, yeah, it's, it's been wonderful and I'm excited to continue this journey with you all.